Legendary Pokemon have been banned from competition. While normally in VGC we have the likes of Urshifu, Tornadus, and Raging Bolt absolutely dominating the metagame and constantly top-cutting tournaments, this won't be the case moving forward. With the brand new rule set of Regulation H being announced to begin on September 1st, we will no longer be able to use any Pokemon that bears the title of Legendary. This means that metagame staples like Urshifu, Tornadus, and Ogre Pond are now banned. Alongside these Pokemon, we can also no longer use any Paradox Pokemon, which means no Fluttermane or Iron Bundle. So, with these restrictions, we're effectively playing Regulation A once again, only with access to every Pokemon introduced into the DLC on top of that. This is a super underexplored format that basically no one was ready to play. To prepare for this new format, my friend Himmy Turner, whose channel is linked in the description down below, organized a huge $1,000 cash prize tournament that was on the front page of Twitch. I decided to enter and see just how well I would fare in the new format. I even decided to bring back an old favorite Pokemon of mine that hasn't seen much play in tournaments. But before we begin, if you enjoy this video at any point in time, be sure to leave a like and subscribe. As a matter of fact, you should really just subscribe right now because I have a playlist full of videos just like this that you can watch once this one ends. And if you think you're subscribed, do me a favor and double check because only like half my viewers actually are. With that, let's get into the video. Now I haven't done a tournament recap in a really long time, so I'm actually going to try a new format for this. You'll see effectively all of my matches all the way through, with some minor edits. But what we're going to do here is go over the team that I used, why I chose them, and then showcase all of my games. Then to wrap it up, I'll review how I felt about the team, and what I learned on the other side of the tournament. With every Pokemon now banned from competitive play and Fluttermane no longer being an issue, I actually thought that it might just be time for this forgotten starter Pokemon to shine. Rillaboom and Chestnut. You see, Chestnut is actually a really interesting Pokemon when you look at it under the hood. It's not only one of the few viable fighting types left in the format now that we don't have Urshifu or Iron Hands, but it's also one of the very few Pokemon with the ability Bulletproof. This ability makes Chestnut completely immune to a very specific list of projectile-based moves, which include Weather Ball, Sludge Bomb, Pollen Puff, and most importantly, Shadow Ball. One of the few metagame developments made at the time of this team's creation was the fact that Golden Go is number one in the format. Make It Rain and Shadow Ball are just too strong coming off of Nasty Plot or Choice Specs and that 133 base special attack stat. But if I Terra Fire my Chestnut, it will not only make it resist Make It Rain, but be totally immune to Shadow Ball, effectively walling Golden Ghosts. For my Chestnut set, I actually took a page out of Matteo de Mora's book. You see, this player made it to Day 2 of the European International Championships using a Belly Drum Grassy Glide Chestnut team. Because when paired with Fake Out Grassy Surge Rillaboom, it becomes very easy to set up a Belly Drum and spam Priority Grassy Glide to sweep through entire teams, then click Drain Punch to get all your health back. While this team was made for the Regulation F format, I felt that it was even stronger in Regulation H given how strong Rain teams are. Speaking of Rain teams, I decided to run a fairly standard Rain team around these two, as it'd be a pretty reliable mode to pair with the duo. Because whenever I build outside the box, I find myself not really wanting to fly too close to the sun and be conservative with my other Pokemon choices. So the last four team members are Standard Safety Goggles Incineroar, Choice Specs Golden Go, Focus Sash Pelipper, and Mystic Water Palafin. The Palafin is especially important for this team as Dondozo can give the team issues since Unaware Terra Grass Dondozo just completely ignores the Belly Drum boost and can wall my Grass Duo. Haze on Palafin allows for me to trivialize the matchup and just reset all their stat boosts then smack them with Choice Specs Golden Go or Hurricane Pelipper to win the game. This tournament was structured to be best of one for the 9 Swiss rounds, and then the top 32 players would advance to best of 3 top cut. So if I want to make it to top cut, I'll need to go at least 7 and 2 in matches and try my best not to lose early on to maintain good resistance and then squeeze into top 32. If I want to pull this off, I'll need to drink gamer subs. Gamer subs, ad, go. Tap the right side of your screen three times if you want to skip the 20 second ad. I made it like that on purpose. Just like leave a like or I don't know, buy some. I don't know. This channel is partnered with Gamer Subs. If you want to support my work and get great tasting drinks, you can order Gamer Subs through my link in the description down below or with code MOXIEBOOSTER at checkout for 10% off. Gamer Subs is a caffeinated product that I recommend only to my 18 plus viewers, but my link will send you to their caffeine free product section just in case. Every product purchased through my link supports my channel financially, so I'd really appreciate the support. Now back to the video. Okay, so my round one opponent went by the screen name of Power 2. They were rocking a pretty creative Trick Room Hyper Offense team consisting of Choice Specs Sylveon, Silk Scarf Porygon Z, Safety Goggles Ferrigarath, Normal Gem Ursaluna, Rocky Helmet Amoongus, and Life Orb Gallade. It was apparent to me that their game plan was to set up Trick Room by any means possible and sweep me with their Specs Sylveon or that Terra Normal Ursaluna. As I'm running a team that relies heavily on priority moves, having my strongest attackers be walled by Armortail Farigarath is actually really scary. 
Because of this, I opt to lead off with Incineroar and Golden Go in an attempt to get early KOs with Choice Specs Make It Rain and avoid having to play in Trick Room altogether. I just have to hope that Gallade doesn't lead off to block it with Wide Guard. That's what I figured. I want to turn up my music a little bit. Let's see if I live the Shadow Ball. Worst case scenario, they're locked into Shadow Ball. I do! I like the video today, Marcos. Thank you. Appreciate it. Let's see if they're like zero speed Gallade. That'd be awesome. All right, what's getting annihilated? Oregon Z. Nice. That's pretty awesome. Faster than your PZ. Are you going for Trick Room? That is game. I have Rillaboom, Golden Go. Does their Gallade have Night Slash? It does not, no. Alright. You do not live this. Nice. Managed to get this done in time. I was concerned. We have two minutes left on the round. 
Despite the match starting off pretty rough with that delayed lead, I managed to pull through and could direct my focus entirely on my next opponent, whose screen name was MCM N M MCN 09012. Yeah, it just rolls off the tongue like nothing. They're running a really cool snow team consisting of Goggles and Sidorar, Assault Vest Rillaboom, Leftovers Golden Go, Clear Amulet Vex Caliber, Covert Cloak Alolan Ninetales, and Citrus Berry Ferrigraph. While that Ferrigraph is really scary for my Grassy Glide setup, I end up opting to go for it anyways, as Terrifier Chestnut can really easily set up on this whole team and avoid getting encored into Belly Drum by just getting that priority Grassy Glide off. Five, North American International Champion, Pat Con Five. Oh, uh, that's a pretty great lead for me. What's the vibe today? Yo, what's bingling, dude? No freeze, no freeze, no freeze, no freeze, no freeze. They do got the whole rainbow. I'm crazy for this play. Oh, I can't afford it. I can't afford to do that. All right, I'm not crazy. So I want to. I want a tailwind and uh, drain punch to call the uh, Ferrigraph. Genuinely can't afford to do that right now. Thank you, Ash. And we get the tailwind. That's huge. Looks like they're bulky. Oh, come on. We're in a winning position. Uh. It says I'm about to sweep with my chestnut. We have the most annoying disconnect I've had in a tournament in a while. Nintendo, please fix your game. This was supposed to be the game that I get to show off my strategy to the fullest. We call a judge who determines that it was a server error and my opponent, rather than resetting, just decides to concede the match as they admit to being just a few turns away from losing without having any game plan to stop the sweep. They didn't need to do this, actually. According to the rules, we just have to reset and play the match from the beginning. We don't even need to bring the same four Pokemon. But my opponent was just a good-natured person who took the L. Well... It's a shame Chestnut didn't get the sweep I wanted. Yeah, I can't believe my opponent's actually like a good person. I got BM'd in a tournament two days ago in top four. And then this person's just like, hey man, you know, you played really well. I didn't have an answer. Take the match. Thank you. That's insane. <laughs>
Good shout out MCN 09012. I have no idea who you are. And so we proceed with a bittersweet 2-0 record. But no worries, I'm sure I'll get another opportunity to sweep with Chestnut. I mean, I, I couldn't pull the one matchup that it never comes to that much, right? For round three, we face off against huh? who's running the one team that I never bring Chestnut to, Don Dozo. Which, as I previously stated, is able to hard wall Chestnut with its ability Unaware and Terra Steel. Surrounding this behemoth is Ability Shield Tatsugiri, Power Herb Glamora, Life Orb Golden Go, Safety Goggles Mousehold, and Assault Vest Hydreigon. This was also the featured match for the round, so the commentary team got to chip in and talk about the game. Only, they played copyrighted music during this segment, so Twitch deleted all the audio from the VOD, so you get my commentary instead. Sorry. Alright. Uh, immediately starting off with that, that's not bad. This so much. Should do a decent amount. Yeah, dive's crazy. Oh. I'll do it again. This is an unaware Don Dozo. These boosts matter. I live. Nice. Check this out. Nice. <laughs> Honestly, I'm really glad I got to jump scare the chat with that. I just wish I had some reaction from the commentary team to put in the video, but oh well. Bapsugiri. Okay. Let's add him to that Tatsugiri. Ability shield. Hmm. I'll just stay in. Don't need this guy. No. 
<laughs> Bro lived. There's no way. That actually might be bad for me. To be honest. See if they're timid. I guess it doesn't matter. Still have to eat this at full power though, which is not great. Do I live? Nope. Alright. <sighs> yeah, this is getting close. Weather ball crit, weather ball crit, weather ball crit. No! <laughs> oh. Wait, this is doable. Ooh, you want a spiky shield so bad. Ah, oh, dang it. I got it wrong.
So let's turn a tailwind, I win. Dunk! <laughs> It could have been. It could have been that they meant to spiky shield. I. It could have been they meant to spiky shield there. The final turn coming down to a 50 50 play resulted in me winning off my opponent, not misclicking, but taking too long to think about their play and losing off the game auto selecting their move. But we take those. I guess my mental was just better that day. We continue on at a 3-0 record. My round 4 opponent is Red, who has a pretty creative team consisting of Covert Cloak Alola Ninetales, Choice Band Hisui and Arcanine, Clear Amulet Garchomp, Wide Lens Rotom Wash, Rocky Helmet Amoongus, and scariest of all, an Assault Vest Terra Dragon Lapras running the Oko move Sheer Cold. For those of you who don't know, this move has a 30% chance to just straight up KO a Pokemon. GG. While on paper this might seem like a decent chestnut matchup that I've been waiting for, I actually can't reliably belly drum against a rogue team like this since I'd have to tear a fire to avoid getting hit by super effective blizzards, which leaves chestnut open to just getting rock slided or have its move rage powdered away by Amoongus who absolutely walls it. Due to this, I just decide to lock in straight damage. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, we are gaming. If they tear this Amoongus. They both lived. If I don't get sheer colded here, I'm good. Yeah, <laughs> phenomenal. Absolutely phenomenal. That's exactly what I wanted. Why is Dango named Cream? Because Cash rules everything around me. Because Cash rules everything around me. I don't think your Amoongus is living this. I suppose that's also a thing you can do. Yeah, I'm pretty sure there's still chaos. I've never seen Lapras' fainting animation in this game. That's kind of adorable. I can't even lie. That's pretty cute. Click it again! <laughs> Check, please. Oh, 
Oh, he's going for it. No flinch. No flinch would be great. Make my job easier. Yeah. That does so much for minus two. For minus two, that's a little ridiculous. And by little, I mean a lot. Very. It's a lot ridiculous. Olaf, who are you? Oh. That's who you are. I'm going to click it again. I'm going to keep clicking it. I'm going to keep clicking it. I don't need this mon. This the golden go, please. Nope. Alright, target identified. Ah, dang it. Okay. GG, well played. Alright, that's 4-0. Yeah, fishing for that sheer cold didn't really work out for my opponent, and we managed to secure a 4-0 victory, which just happens to put me at a 4-0 record. Our round 5 opponent is Luca Paz, an extremely accomplished VGC player who I really can't take lightly, but surely I can catch him off guard with my chat. Ah, he's running down Dozo. Gotta lock in. Not nuzzle. Speed tie, speed tie. He's probably timid. Alright, let's see if he's timid. Yes! Okay. So we have an issue. That guy's probably gonna come back. He's probably going to come back. relatively safe oh he is terra water so this is gonna hurt all right there's no don dozo end game for them now which is really nice this one shot it's probably not be so cool if it could nope
Yeah. Nice. Okay, I got him to burn the double shock. Sick. Alright, getting him to burn double shock is actually huge. Because now I have Grassy Glide into him. Does Terra Stellar let you spam Double Shock? I don't know that interaction. I don't think so. Alright, my position's looking really good. game. forfeited. GG, well played. That's pretty funny. <laughs> All right. Looking good. Managed to beat the two dozos. Really hate playing dozo. Thanks to a risky turn one play, predicting my opponent to predict me to defensively tear in front of their golden go, I managed to take down one of my scariest opponents in this tournament. And it's pretty unlikely that I pull yet another Don- The joke is that my round six opponent also has Don Dozo. I I'm losing my mind here. Once again, we have to leave Chestnut at home, and my opponent didn't even bring the Don Dozo, so. Safety goggles are challenged on.
It's gonna be the Pelipper. Nice. Hey, you know what, Nick? I'd appreciate that. I would appreciate that. Thank you, Nick. Alright, they're gonna take a KO here. Most likely. Oh, yo? I'll take it. I'll take it. As far as I can tell, there's no safe switching on that left slot. As far as I can tell, there's literally no safe switch in there. And preventing Tailwind would be great. No, it's sturdy. What well, terror is this uh, Arch Moxie? It's Terra Ghost. It's also safety goggles. So uh, it does not appreciate Shadow Balls. All right, what are you giving to me? Hand it over. That's Tatsugiri. Ooh, okay. They're going to do a double? No, they're just giving up the Tatsugiri. That's an interesting call. That's an interesting call. I thought they were going to go Don Dozo. <laughs> that does so much. Nice. All right. You should hit yourself now. Let's go. <laughs> You should hit yourself now. That's a protect. Now! Looks like no protect on Pelipper then, which is huge. Oh, protect on Pelipper. But we're in the same spot we were just a moment ago. They have to give something up. And nothing is a good idea to give up here. We're just going to match the Tailwind.
You should hit yourself now. All right, looks like it's Timid Archaladon, which actually might screw me. Am, did I goob this? Does Timid Archaladon goob me? It'd be so cool if they hurricaned here and not tailwinded. Ah, they tailwinded. Rain stopped. Okay. We're fine. That is a fast Archaladon. Shouldn't be able to KO Golden Go this turn, though. And if Hurricane did that much, they drop to this. Protect. There's no way Draco KOs me. I mean, it KOs that, but we're in a good endgame situation. Because there's no way that last mon isn't Dondozo, and now I have Grassy Glide. Nice. A little bit messy, but we got there. Watch it not be Dondozo. Oh, it's not Dondozo. How bad is that? How bad is it that it's not Dondozo? It is not Dondozo, huh? It's Choice Bam Yaskarada. We have to dodge a hurricane. I hate it here. Oh, no, we don't. I think we're good. Hurricane shouldn't KO from this range. Yeah, and they missed too. That's huge. Technically, this also wins. I don't need Grassy Glide. Grassy Glide wouldn't KO. There's no way Rillaboom drops to this. And we dodge again! We're goaded. I don't think we drop to that anyways.
Sometimes the plot armor is a little too strong. Sometimes the plot armor is admittedly a little too strong. Look, you give me three Don Dozos, I give you three wins. That's the rule. Don't give me another Don Dozo. I'm tired of playing Don Dozo. There's one more turn of Tailwind, right? Yeah, so. I mean, Grassy Glad Chaos from this range. GG, sorry about misses. Well played. All right. We made it through. Okay, so that's three Dondozo teams down. Have I earned the right to play a different team now? I do? Awesome. Our round seven opponent is the one and only Joe UX9, who is actually a multiple time regional champion, world's competitor, and my friend. As much as I'd like to absolutely chess my knot in this matchup, we're in a pretty similar situation as in round four, where the Pokemon I want to defensively tear in my chest knot in front of are flanked by options which would invalidate it, like Amoongus or Hydreigon. So I once again have to leave the chest knot at home. But its time will come, I promise its time will come in this video. Alright. See so who's the faster guy. Nice. That's exactly what I needed. Knock off. All right. All right, now we only have to deal with crits half the time. Which is basically like not at all. I almost went for the hurricane, but I'm a coward. Oh god, Gen Z's trying to cancel me now! <laughs>
Incineroar. No protect, please. See if he tears. Yep. Um, I can live this. It's only a fifty percent chance that he actually like does max damage. And that'd be great if he uh does not get the fifty percent crit. Come on, no 50% crit. Yes! Okay. That's huge. And the choice specs are gone? Yes, baby. I'm going to call Protect going to Rillaboom. I got a crit at some point. Side palm puff. That makes sense. Yep.
Hey, we take those. I'm crazy for this play. Come on, baby, no burn. Come on. <laughs> I very much needed that to not happen. We're slowly getting into range of FU choice specs moment. Or FU uh, make it rain. We're slowly getting into range of that moment.
Well, might as well go for it. They should have to Rage Powder here. Dear Golden Go, please eat minus one Flare Blitz. I don't think you do. But it'd be so cool if you did. Oh, yo, who am I taking? Who am I taking? Is this KO? No, it doesn't. Oh, that's such a good turn. That's such a good turn. We're both playing kind of crazy now. Crit on the Incineroar is nice. I'm gonna have to crit this knockoff. <laughs> is that recoil KO? Oof. All right. I wish this guy wasn't burned right now. Actually do something. Yeah. Knockoff crit. Yeah, good call. Any way I can win off a of Pokemon. There's only one. I need both of these to crit. Nope. Epic crit. Epic crit. GG well played. Alright, first loss of the night. Just gotta win one of these next two and we make top cut. We take our first L against Joe 9, but I could care less because we're 6 and 1 and we finally pulled the chestnut game. Let's go! Covert Cloak and Moongus. Yeah, just not mentioned. They're going to clear smog for sure. Don't care.
curious how fast that Ursa Luna is. I don't think it stays in, though. Yeah, they're withdrawing. Probably Golden Go? I don't see why you wouldn't bring them. Yeah. It does so much. Oh my god. Crit, too. Cool. Doesn't KO. Nice. Hey, okay. Loving this position. Matter of fact, let's click it. Really bringing it back. Yeah, this thing gets belly drum, bro. Neither of their mons can protect here. Oh, something's gonna have to eat this, and I don't think anything really wants to. Tauros? Tauros does not want to eat this. It should prevent me from dying to recoil, which is kind of nice. Oh! We're speed tied. That's news to me. Hmm. Oh, I get a KO here. It does have protect. They should always close combat. That does so much. Was that a crit? Yeah. All right. Not the end of the world. Certainly not fun, though. Can tell you that.
think Drain Punch does it. I think it does. Stronger than Grassy Bud. And I don't think they're gonna... I don't think they're not gonna Terra. I think they have to Terra. Yeah, nice. I get the Drain Punch here. That's Poggers. East Poggers. And, oh, this is such a good position. This is actually such a good position. I left stream like two hours ago for a job interview. How we doing? We are six and one. If we win this, we top cut. We can also win the next one. Nice. They're handing it over. Probably just another clear smog. We always fake out here and go for another one. I see the line. They have to close combat the left slot. Or Raging Bull. That works too. I get a free parting shot here. Then I get fake out pressure. And a second Intimidate, which means they don't really have a way to break the uh, Chestnut. There's no way I drop to minus two close combat. I can make this even more safe. That's going into Chestnut, for sure. Forgot they still had Terra. This is a little scary. I might have goobed it. I could have goobed it here. Please go into Chestnut. 
Yes! Okay, we're good. We're good. I completely forgot to get Terra. Now we definitely don't lose. Yeah, they dropped everything. Second knockoff, drain punch. GG's. Let's see if this picks up. Nope. Chestnut's crazy, bro. Chestnut's crazy. Alright, that's a top cut. I considered side drain punch for a second, then I realized just attacking is probably fine. With a record of 7-1 and one going into round 9, I secured my spot in top cut. And I'd tell you more about my round 9 match, but I um, I had a team sheet error and, and my Pelipper lost immediately because I terraed it into Terra Ghost and the team sheet said Terra Water, uh, so I, I just lost immediately. But despite this loss and being forced to run Terra Water Pelipper for the rest of the tournament, I do manage to qualify for top cut by finishing Swiss in 14th place with a 7-2 and two record and 63.76 resistance. For our top 32 match, we now have to play a best of 3 set. From this point on, things get super serious. Everyone in top cut is someone who knows how to play their teams well and makes reads that will break your ankles. Including me. Check this out. And they can't afford to let me belly drum, so it should be a rage fist immediately. Oh, yo? I'll take it. That's pretty pog. We're going for it. All right. Morgan Mills, how you doing? Nothing should be able to prevent this, right? They bulked up again, that's crazy. There are no item talent flame, which is kind of crazy. There it is. I think this will still pick up.
Ah, they protected. Okay. How bad is that? Not the end of the world. Yeah, especially since they went into that. All right. <clears throat> Maybe I should have doubled. Come on, Drain Punch, you know you wanna. Hey, they Rage Fisted. Let's see if that in a modest hurricane does it. I think it might. His friend guard kind of carries this guy. Not quite. But the confusion's pretty pog. And I'm at full health again. Come on, hit yourself. Now! No? Okay. That's fine. be the last turn of recovery. Hmm. Just go for it. I think they're going to double the Pelipper. That's my call. Because they know Weather Ball's too strong. And I mean, like, I should be able to eat a Rage Fist. They only took one attack. Granted, they're at plus two. But I think they're going to be too scared to attack the uh, Chestnut. Oh, they doubled. Okay, well, I guess I'm the... F oh, we just outsped. Cool. All right. Note, Pelipper's faster than the Annihilate. And that's useful, because they just lost their priority. Which is big, because I can double protect this turn. What's the last Mon? Hydreigon? Yeah, we're gaming. He's always gaming! I have two turns of Tailwind. They have one, and the Talonflame does have Protect. Hmm. Oh, 
Probably Draco, right? Dark Pulse. They doubled, okay. One turn left to Tailwind. They shouldn't be able to score a double KO. That should be a double protect, but like I said, they can't double KO. Oh! Here's how they could KO, though. Not the end of the world. Um, yeah, not the end of the world, because I still have Specs Golden Go. And I should be able to take Acrobatics into that. Because it's at minus two. Now it's just Life Orb. And it's no fire move, Talonflame. I have to get flinched to lose. Because I don't believe Talonflame won't be one's Pelipper. Ooh, they went for it. All right, let's see if the specs will do it. Like I said, they have to double me. I think that might be specs range if they're not super bulky. Yeah, nice. Okay, we picked it up. Not sure where they didn't attack the golden go. All right, they can't win off of that. They do half the damage, they do 75%. Spread moves do 75% in doubles. If uh, there are two targets. Okay. Same rules. Change nothing, learn nothing. Yeah, it's no item on the Talonflame, which is pretty cool. Also, the reason it's running Protect.
Okay. That lead's pretty goaded. That lead's pretty goaded. Going for it immediately, ish immediately. They can't really stop this, can they? Nasty plot? That makes sense. Yep. I'm gonna do something crazy. I'm doing something crazy. They both tank. I'm going to get a lot of health back here. Nice. Rather not have to do a tailwind. Nice. Pretty joded. Joded behavior.
I think they want a Draco here. Alright, that's extremely important damage. This turn worked out great for me. As long as I don't get flinched. I played that perfect, don't flinch me. Nice. Yeah, I think they're Omega Goobed. I don't see how they come back. I like how Chestnut kind of winds it up like... <laughs> Send in the Rilla. For realsies. It's gonna be Terra Grass. Nice. Got the call. And they let me take the Town Flame. That's game. And they let me take the Town Flame from them. That's the most important mod on their side of the field. They got one more turn left to Tailwind. There's no shot they don't haze. Double Glide might have done it, but U-Turn's fine. U-Turn actually gets the KO. They should haze here. Oh, they didn't haze. They're going to go for the Hyper Voice, but that's fine. Last turn of Tailwind. Why'd you do that? <laughs> Why'd you do that? Oh, wow. Okay. Cool. I'll take it. I'll take it. All right. Let's see who's faster. Your tailwind's gone, right? Let me double check that. Yep, tailwind's gone. I can belly drum here. Yeah, nice. Alright. GG, well played. It only took the entirety of Swiss, but I finally managed to use the chestnut and have it more or less carry the game on its back. And all it took was getting through 9 rounds of Swiss, not getting to play it because I wanted to play optimally. We move on to top 16, having eliminated our top 32 opponent. 
We now face off against FBI Surveillance Man, who's running a fairly standard rain offense team, which includes a really cool pick of Choice Scarf Hurricane Salamence. This Pokemon should give me pause and make me think twice about running Chestnut, but I am not a smart man. Pelicopter, Pelicopter! <laughs> I think Pelipper has to attack this turn. Oh, come on. How bad is that? How goobed am I? Pretty goobed. Pretty goobed, all things considered. This is an insane play. I don't think they have a reason to wide go to your- Oh my god, did I cook? Did I cook? I did not cook. It's not that bad though. And Chikeo. This is about half. Asking Legion. Not in my neighborhood. Yeah, Terra Grass. Nice. Hey. I don't think we dropped to this. Oh, maybe we do. Nope, goaded. Goaded Pokemon. That was a crit too, oh my god.
Call me crazy. Well, mm, could I also just drain punch? Call me crazy. Yes. Okay. Oh, we cooked. We cooked. We absolutely cooked. Oh, I misclicked. I meant to belly drum. Oh my god, I just lost off the misclick. I just lost off the misclick. No! I was supposed to belly drum there, dude. Oh, you're kidding me. You're actually kidding me. Come on. Okay. Oh, the belly drum just won me that match. Crit? No crit. Oh. I misclicked so hard. Ah, oh, that's such a bad misclick. If I belly drum there, it was just a win. That's so bad. Come on. I brought it back from a really bad situation, too. All right. Oh, that's so annoying that I did that. All right, don't get tilted. I was so excited, too. I was like, yep, we got him. Nope, did not get him. I messed it up bad. Because there's no way Wave Crash would have KO'd me. Uh, okay. Yeah, the helicopter too distracting. Alright, that's a lot of recoil. Did they double? Yeah, they're definitely timid Pelipper. That's good to note. Oh, don't you dare. Don't you dare. Don't you dare. Okay.
Let me think. You know what? I played the last game crazy, I'm playing this game crazy. I'm pretty sure I don't win anyway, so I have to play crazy. Alright, please don't double. If they don't double, there's a shot. Okay. We found the out. I think they always go for the um, Terra Ghost here. Nope. All right. Does that recoil KO? Not quite. And that's actually probably helpful. I should have glided. That was stupid. I should have glided. That did too much. Oh, also, they're just faster. Yeah, we lost. Ah, dang. Okay, out in top 16 is not terrible. I'm so mad that I misclicked that last game, though. That's so bad. That was so bad. All right. GG, well played. Out in top 16 is not terrible. And with that 2-0 loss, we end our run in this massive 450-player online tournament. So, how did I feel about using Chestnut? Well, honestly, I was pretty underwhelmed overall due to the matchups that I pulled during my run, but if I dodged down Dozo just one more time, I think I could have pulled a fairly standard rain team where Chestnut thrives and I could get a free win out of it. Despite this though, the team functioned wonderfully, and my only losses in Swiss were due to a team list error and a regional champion. Rain might not be the best pairing for Chestnut, so I'll be exploring alternate weathers like Sand and trying to put it on more of a balancey archetype. But for now, here's the team that I ran as a rental code. The full details you can find in the description. Let me know how you do with it in the comment section below and give me some ideas for a Pokemon you'd like to see me try in a tournament in the future. If you enjoyed this video on Gameplay in Time, be sure to leave a like and subscribe. It'd mean the world to me. If you want to support me further, you can check out my Patreon page or become a YouTube channel member by clicking the join button below the video. This gets you sneak peeks at future videos and even some bonus content. You also see your name at the end of my videos like all these lovely people. Special thanks to my most boosted supporters, Avatar67, Jordan Harridge, Kayla Thompson, and The Main Mon for their generous pledges. Another way to support me is to check out all the videos in the playlist on screen right now. I know you'll find something in there that you'll enjoy. I also have a second channel where I talk about the current BGC metagame trends, and a Twitch channel where I stream, both of which are in the description. Also, the World Championships video is coming. It's going to take a long time to finish. It's going to be a really long one. So, yeah. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.